Hello everyone, this is Irish from PDMG, and today we're going to talk about review sharing on Amazon. Let's begin. First, let us quickly know what is review sharing. Here is an example of an item in Amazon. The different types you see here are what we call variations. It can be color, sizes, sets, flavor, etc. Same product with different variants to choose from. When we look at the review section, we can see that it has great reviews. Now, let's choose another color. As we go to the review section of this chosen color, we can see the exact same reviews again. This is what is known as review sharing. Now, let's talk more about it. Have you noticed that your ASINs in a variation are no longer sharing reviews on the detail page? This is a very common contact for sellers as Amazon has implemented a new policy. There are a couple requirements for reviews to be shared across every ASIN within a variation. ASINs in a variation means having multiple ASINs, also known as child ASINs, grouped under one main ASIN. Also known as parent ASIN, and usually is not a physical item for sale, but more like an umbrella that groups all child ASINs together. Here are the requirements for reviews to be shared across every ASIN within a variation. All categories must match across the parent and children. This includes the product type, GL, and the item type keyword. The values may appear to match on the detail page, however, the values contributed internally may differ. To find out what the values are, Amazon support will need to be contacted. More times than not, these values are not contributed by the seller account and will need to be updated by Amazon support. Sellers must be following the variation creation policy. If the variations you are creating break a policy, the reviews may split apart. If this is the case, you will need to create a valid variation for your reviews to be shared. If your categories all match and you have not broken any policies, a lot of times, Amazon will reply to your case request with the below message. If we detect unusual review behavior for a product, we may place limits on reviews or the sharing of reviews for related products. We place limits on reviews to preserve trust in customer reviews. It does not mean that you have violated the policies, but the algorithm, decision, and implementation is done by internal teams with no scope of appeal. If you receive the same message when attempting to fix your review share issue, we recommend doing the following. Run a full update on your entire variation. When doing so, assure that the categories all match prior to running the full update. If the full update does not fix the issue, delete the parent and create a new parent. If the above steps do not fix the issue, you can create smaller variations to attempt to find the problem child. If you have followed all the steps and the reviews are still not being shared, we suggest giving the system time. After some time has passed, the reviews may automatically be shared again or you can contact support requesting assistance again. Important note to keep, this policy change does not affect reviews from being added to your listings new or old. It simply affects review sharing. And that is all for today about Amazon's review sharing. I hope you found this helpful and if you want to learn more about Amazon, please check out our previous videos or visit our website. Links are provided in the description box. If you have any more questions or suggestions, feel free to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future content. Thank you.